Hi, I'm going to show you how to use the autofill function in Excel. You'll notice that my file is named with the file name, my initials, and the version of the file that I'm working on. So once I save this file, I'll save it with the new version. Let's open up the file. Now there are a couple things I want to do before I start working on this file. You'll notice that there are spaces in the column headers. Well, if you import this into a database, databases don't like when there are spaces in your column headers. So I'm just going to take those out. Also, you'll see that there are some column headers that have really long names. And if you write queries, you're going to have to write these out often. So you don't want to have to type the entire thing. So I shorten these. There you go. One last thing. When I scroll down, you'll notice that you, you, you lose the column headers. So I'm going to highlight the row below the column headers and go up to Window. And I'm going to freeze pane. That way, when I scroll down, I don't lose my column headers. Now, you'll notice that the factory country is an abbreviation. I want to spell out the country name. Now, there are two ways that you can autofill, right? The first is, let's, this is Bangladesh, right? So you go to the lower right-hand corner, you get your black X, hold down and drag. Now you can drag it all the way down. until it gets to the end of the Bangladesh entries. But you see how long that took me? Another way to do that is this. This is Cambodia. So I'm going to scroll down to the end of Cambodia until I get to China. And I'm going to type in China here because that's going to be the next entry. When I go back up to Cambodia and I click here, I go to the little black X at the corner. If I double click, it autofills all the way down until I get to my next entry, China. So let's see that again. We're going to go all the way down here to the end of the China entries. This is a good example because you really, it can take a long time to autofill this by dragging. Okay, here we go. Now, Egypt. And you want to just make sure, highlight this and make sure, yep, that's Egypt, that's Egypt. Okay, now then I can go back up. China, get the black X, and double click. There you go. Once you've finished your file, I will save my file as version 2. And there you go.